So chat, how many of you guys in the chat like you some sushi? Let me get a one in the chat if you like sushi. I'm a big enjoyer of sushi. Uh, if I have to be honest, sushi's probably my favorite uh, kind of food. And not just like your traditional like Japanese sushi. I also like some of the different like ethnic types of sushi as well. For example, here in California, we have a lot of um, like Latin or Mexican type of sushi places. I haven't tried any of them yet personally, but I've heard they're pretty good. So at some point, I definitely want to try those. But in any case, we're going to talk about a sushi place uh, that was opened, an Australian style sushi place uh, that was opened in West Village that has uh, sparked a little bit of controversy on the internet. And uh, this situation is sounding a lot like a certain Noodlegate situation uh, that we covered on the channel not too long ago. So let me go ahead and let's get into this. Uh, I'm going to start with this tweet here. Uh, this is by Nick Whitaker. They say, I just discovered an amazing Australian style sushi place in West Village. Highly recommend it. And as you can see here, it's called the Sushi Counter Chat. So this is the place we're talking about here, the Sushi counter and uh i know we can't really see a whole lot based on the picture but i mean hey you know it looks pretty appetizing you know maybe if i'm ever in the area maybe i'll stop by this place and i'll give it a try but uh it's a sushi place right so why are we talking about a sushi place chat <clears throat> what's the big deal what it, what drama is there to be had in regards to a sushi place well let's get into it and find out we have this person here tweeting, this guy launched an all out hate campaign against a woman for opening an Australian sushi counter to the point that she had to delete all of her TikTok videos and got review bombed on Google for being a colonizer. Meanwhile, he's opening a Puerto Rican, uh, is as a Kaya. I probably butchered that. I probably said that wrong. Correct me in the chat if I said it wrong, but anyway, let's go ahead and let's take a look at this. So. There aren't any, uh, there aren't enough good sushi places in New York City, so I opened one. This was originally like a TikTok video from this girl's TikTok chat. Uh, this post has since been deleted, but uh, he posted this on tick or on Twitter. Okay, he posted this on Twitter uh, that he pulled from TikTok, basically complaining about this Australian woman who opened a sushi place in New York City. All right, this this is what we're talking about: outrage over an Australian woman opening a sushi place but it's australian sushi give me a break colonizer this is just like outrage for the sake of just being outraged now chat this sounds a lot like drama that i covered a while back on the channel do you guys know what i'm talking about here chat we talked about a situation involving my good friend, Keffels. Shout out to my good friend, Keffels. This, sound like, this sounds a lot like a situation that she found herself in back in uh, 2021 that people still give her shit about to this day. People go as far as to call her racist for this chat. This person, Rosalind uh, Tolson... I think that's how you pronounce her name. Rosalind tweets out, why did a white woman write a cookbook about dumplings and noodles? To which Keffel's quote tweeted at the time, because dumplings and noodles are tasty. This infamous moment has been dubbed Noodlegate chat. And Keffel's has literally been dubbed a racist because of this fucking tweet. The woman in question, the woman in question, Pippa Middle, Middlehurst, if I remember correctly, that's her name. Pip, Pip, Pippa Middlehurst, who wrote the cookbook, literally got bullied off of fucking Twitter over this situation chat. I thought this situation was so fucking ridiculous. I kid you not. I bought a copy of the cookbook because I'm just like, this is fucking dumb. <laughs> this is really fucking dumb. You harassed a woman off the internet and made her out to be like a racist or, you know... Uh, this is some cultural appropriation shit or whatever the fuck over noodles and dumplings chat. It's, it's really fucking stupid, but this, this situation, which is now cleverly being dubbed sushi gate sounds a lot like noodle gate. Doesn't it chat? Let me get some ones in the chat. If you agree, this sounds a fucking hell of a lot like noodle gate. It gets even crazier though. I actually tweeted about this situation. I'm glad I'm glad I grabbed screenshots of this because uh, these tweets, my understanding is these tweets are now deleted and this person has since gone private. 
Somebody quote tweeted uh, Eric Rivera, the original person to call this out. This is Queer Latifa, and they said, why is someone who is not of Asian descent, better yet from Australia, opening a sushi spot in New York City? Okay, so they, they're jumping off of the original tweet. Before I show you the next tweet in the thread that they said, I want to read my caption for this. Imagine advocating for the vandalism of someone's business just because you want to virtue signal for Twitter updutes. Yikes. Oh, shit. Oh, what shit. am I talking about, chat? This was one of the replies that they had in regards to the situation. Somebody said, listen, I hope she can't even open this place. To which Queer Latifah responded, wouldn't be surprised if folks find this video and it's a wrap for her windows, chat. Literally advocating for the vandalism of her business just because she is Australian and she opened a sushi restaurant. I, I'm, I'm at a loss for words here, chat. I, I, I'm genuinely at a loss for words here. Last thing I want to take a look at is this thread here. This is by Dumb Bitch Capital LLC. Uh, they kind of documented the whole situation. So uh, let's just start right at the top. I'm thrilled to announce that the sushi uh, that sushi uh, Sheila's NYC restaurant sushi counter uh, is now averaging 4.5 stars on Google reviews. To explain this, she got review bombed to hell and back to where she had like a one score or something crazy low like that on her Google reviews because everybody review bombed this shit. But she got a 4.5 stars on Google reviews. Thank you to you absolute base legends. For those of you who have a job or a life, yesterday, pathetic, uh, woke, failed chef and huge loser, Eric uh, Rivera Cooks, bullied her into leading, deleting all her TikTok posts and caused a massive woke mob to give Sushi Counter uh, tons of one star reviews. Okay. As an American, this type of behavior absolutely disgusts me. Sushi Sheila is an entrepreneur. She is uh, the absolute embodiment of the American dream. Eric is a parasite that couldn't stand to see this girl smile. So here we have again the original tweet. There aren't enough good sushi places in New York City, so it's time to open one. And here we have uh, the rest of their thread. Coping about people saying it's Australian sushi. Give me a break, colonizer. Laughing at whatever this is, but you can't really see it. Sorry about that. If you don't see why this is a problem, you are a part of the problem. Elon Dusk is here to tell you that it's okay to tell you all. It's okay to make sushi anywhere you want, and you should all lighten up. And he also lost a ton of crypto, so please be kind and colonize wherever. What? I I I'm sorry, but... But what? What? Many keyboard warriors called Sushi Sheila a colonizer and accused her of cultural appropriation. I'd like to ask them, do you ever eat or cook food that doesn't perfectly align with your race? If not, shut the fuck up. That's a good point, actually, because like a lot of the things that people eat or consume or cook in their own kitchens every day, a lot of these are like multicultural dishes. And I don't think that that's an issue. I can't speak on behalf of every uh, you know, uh, cultural group out there. But as somebody who's Latino, a lot of us, you know, who are, you know, Latinos, we take pride when people take part in our culture, whether it's something like the food we eat, whether it's something like the clothes we wear, whether it's something like, I don't know, low rider culture, for those of us who are into that sort of thing. Uh, a lot of people really enjoy when others take part in their culture. You know, at least, like I said, I can't speak for everybody else, but for for Latinos, I'm a Latino. Like a lot of us really enjoy when people take part in our culture. So I look at this and I'm just like, what is the problem here? Like genuinely, what's the problem here? The best part of this story is that Eric Rivera is a hypocrite himself. He's an immigrant for, from Puerto Rico who was planning to open a Puerto Rico uh, Japanese fusion restaurant in guess where, uh, North Carolina. So he was planning to do a Puerto Rican take on a Japanese restaurant and he was going to launch it in North Carolina. So he's out here calling out this Australian woman for opening an Australian sushi joint and he's basically doing the same thing. 
someone make it make sense chat i i have to i have to I, the best way that i'm gonna wrap up this segment okay because there, there isn't a whole lot much else to say <clears throat> i know that my opinion probably doesn't matter all this much i know i only recently kind of entered these like leftist online spaces and stuff like that so i'm a newcomer i'm still learning a lot of things i'm still kind of filling this whole thing out uh, so maybe my opinion's not going to matter to you, but I I just have to be honest with you, okay? Speaking from someone who, you know, was an outsider and recently joined this space, when you see stuff like this as an outsider looking in, some people are probably not going to like the word I'm going to use right now, but I don't care. I'm going to use it. If you want to woke scold me for it, go out right ahead. But this makes the left look fucking retarded, chat. Like when people see this shit as somebody who used to be an outsider looking in on the situation, I've always had pretty progressive views and whatnot, but like I would look at this shit before I joined this space myself. And I was like, I don't want to fucking associate with these people. These people are fucking insane. You make the left look fucking retarded when you engage in this kind of behavior. Let's cancel some innocent woman because she's making sushi. Or, you know, referencing back to Noodlegate, let's cancel a couple people because they're making noodles. This is fucking dumb. There are so many other things that you can valid, like that would be very valid reasons to call people out for doing things that are genuine forms of cultural appropriation, genuine forms of causing harm to minorities and stuff like that. Those are the kind of things we should be calling people out for. Not making fucking noodles and sushi chat this is the kind of shit that like terminally online weirdos who are literally just looking for a reason to get angry get upset about don't do this shit it just makes you look dumb god this is fucking stupid